What's going on, man? What's up, man? Nothing much. Just hanging out right now. Knocking yeah. it out. Middle of the day. So I saw you had a lot of uh, interesting topics. All right. Yeah, so uh, what's what's your uh, uh, side on this one? Well, my side is that there is no God. All right, why so? Why so? Um, well, there's no evidence to suggest there is one. Okay, so you haven't, uh, like, one. really uh, done any research into any uh, chips and scrolls that have been found, any uh, – any, uh, data that's actually proven that jesus was a person that's on this earth and well so. that's that's not what what i'm what we're talking about is it we're we're asking if jesus was the messiah okay. and if one one religion christianity is really the way that the world started instead of say you know zeus and poseidon and thor and mm. all the other religions you can name what makes you correct all right well i mean i'm it's 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 more on a it's more on a faith basis yeah Mm. everything is on a faith basis dude so i don't know what you believe in the big bang whatever whatever religion that you believe in everything is faith-based into this world but there's so many things and other concepts say the big thing big bang evolution and how there's um and how there's so many facts support, not facts, but things supporting both sides of each thing. There's just so if I, all right, hold on, what I want first, before we continue this, I want to know where you're coming from. What, what, how do you believe that all this created? Everyone has some, some sort of belief how this world started. Well, we have a belief uh, in a higher power um, through a lot of interesting factors one of which would be our ability to see patterns in things it's uh you know some of our cognitive recognition skills have developed over time so we can pick out things that make sense and that's why we thought that uh you know if you put curses on somebody's food and they got sick it was because of the curse you cursed them this this is what time period we're talking about these beliefs came out of okay we're you know, you're you're not you're not bringing anything into it. The the you know religion. <clears throat> put it this way. You know how how long do you think the world actually has existed? You don't think it was actually six thousand years? Well, ago, it's so. it's there's there's it's maybe not around six thousand, but there are rocks that do state that it is older. Blah 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 blah. But I mean, it's. It's more of the fact of where everyone stands. I mean, I don't, again, I don't know where you stand, but it's, it's, you believe in one thing or you believe in the other. Now, there's not much, there's not much proof of one thing stating that one thing's going to be real and one thing's that the other thing's going to be real. That's why there's such a, a divided line between everything because there's so many people that do believe in it. There's so many people that don't believe in it. That's why it's, it's it's it comes back to all the faith now when it comes back to the science side and all of and evolution everything like that there's there's so many little things about human beings about this world that there it's you can't you just can't explain how how each person is unique in their own individual way how our dna is so so complex and so different from each each person has such their own distinctive dna in this world there's no way that there's it's it, that, that it just happens like that there's no way that so so the fact that genetic mutation exists and natural selection exists is a mystery well no I mean, we've we've genetic... we've figured all of this out already well no, okay we, well, so but we, we where know you're coming from where you're coming from is from the very, very beginning how how are you going to explain to me that something so microscopic can create something so so big as this how how is that how how can you explain that well it takes billions of years obviously i mean we started with uh it's very interesting stromatolites it's actually calcium that's trapped on rocks they're actually in still in australia but it actually gave rise to oxygen and that's where um we could start building on you know single cellular organisms in life uh, we've actually been able to create all 
the amino acids that um, naturally in a, in a natural setting that we know that we, we needed to create life. So the, the raw materials there, the processes there, um, you know, sci- yeah, science has figured this out. We, we know that we left the Sahara, you know, 100,000, 150,000 years ago um, to, to move north to cold, cooler climates. That's why we still have the appendix that we don't need. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's where we came out of. We, we already know this and we know that, um, you know, we're, our, our, uh, DNA, <clears throat> I'm sorry, can be traced and our, um, you know, our lineage can be traced to even plants and animals. So, you know, we, we know that we come from the earth. We, we know that we're a part of the natural process. Okay. Well, I mean, you're saying all these things. But um, there, I mean, I know there's the monkeys and homo sapiens, whatever, that whole transition and everything like that. But over these billions and billions of years, however you say how old this earth is, is that you can't, there's, uh, there's fossils, whatever, whatever people say they found, they, that, why, why aren't we evolving? Why don't we see any evolve? I mean, why don't, why isn't there any, like, any written anything any um written history that's that's showed that people have been involved and but with these thousands we have, thousands, okay with these thousands of thousands of years that people have been actually been on the planet there hasn't been any of evol- any any anything after us what's after us if if you believe in people that evolved there should be something after us and i i, I haven't seen anything that's been way more uh that's advanced in these past thousands of thousands of years that there's actually been homo sapiens and everything like that and that you know it's it's interesting uh sir Ma- martin royal uh he's the astronomer astronomer royal for for england uh once said you know when humans or uh when when people look um you know in the dying days of this earth with the red light uh you know uh red dwarf swallowing this planet whole it won't be humans looking at that It'll be something post-human. It'll be something, you know, that we that we haven't gotten to yet. We have been evolving for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, we know, you know, the difference between Cro-Magnons and Neanderthals and all these different species of certain, you know, we, we all come from common ancestors. We see where the paths diverge. Um, but I mean, this isn't, this isn't new. I mean, if you've taken a look through any anthropology museum ever, I mean, you've seen this. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, it's, it, 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 it comes again, some more faith on anything. That's why, um, on even science, there's some things in science that you just can't explain. And you know that, right? But we don't say, "Oh well, we can't explain it." it okay, but gone. there's some things in this world you literally just can't explain. How? I mean, I, I'm, I'm just waking up, so I'm not. I don't have anything that I've really like thought about this conversation for. But I mean, there's there's mm-hmm. literally nothing that I mean. There's so many. I know there's so many facts and so many this and that, but there's so many things that's also that's been in this world that there's just no you can't put one and one and one one and two together it's just it's it's not you can't explain it It, it, there's so many unexplained things about this world that no one can explain like finding um i mean i already know your answer to this finding fish skulls and fish skeletons on the top of the mountains and i know what you're going to say from that is that mountain used to be ocean but I mean, it's because we it's, see plate tectonics, yes. And I, I already know, like, all I already know, there's so many battles for each thing. It, it comes down to a lot of faith, faith, um, faith based to the end of it. I mean, that's why, that's why there is, there is religion because religion is off of faith based. Now, when coming from a person who believes in science, I mean, mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. I, I do I do see a lot of things in science that like wow that actually has me question why this why this 
is that and that is that. But at the end of the day, there's things in science that still you don't you you haven't proved in anything in science and some things in science and that's and that's where and that's where science loses its loses its connection because there's things in science that you have not been able to prove from like the big bang and um all the things that occurred after that and there's there's just no way how how our whole universe is uh based i know the whole gravitation pull from the earth uh i know if we weren't 100 feet forward we would still we would still live 100 feet back we would still live however or you know, you know what I'm explaining. However, the okay, earth is okay, a couple, and how couple everything things. is so perfect put together. There, it, there's just no. It's not just... perfectly put together. See, that's that's the main thing. Why? But, but I'll, I'll again. I mean, we have appendixes we don't need. Our uh, we've got wisdom teeth that we don't need anymore. Okay. Most chewing up grass. These these are all evolutionary processes that we developed over time. Now. Uh, when you're going back to the Big Bang, at least there is evidence for it. Like we know uh, from the red light shift, this the if there is evidence for the Big Bang, if there's of evidence universe, for the Big Bang second, that we want to have religion. We we have religion because it was our first attempt at philosophy, at government, at literature, at so many different at culture. Uh, well, not not at culture. To, to a certain extent, but it was uh, definitely a um, large part in early societies, and it's and it's no, no I know that. So, so they would time. have something to but, look up for. That's why the whole Greek gods were created and everything like that. Right. I understand that, but if if you would have, if you guys have proven scientific explanation for every single little little detail about the we Big don't. Bang, exactly, we you don't. don't, and that's what I'm saying. That's what it yeah, comes but down. you have no evidence. Okay, but you're you're saying I would rather take the word of Bronze Age illiterate Palestinians over the technology that we have now, the science that we have now, the things that we know now are they they still believed that you could cast spells on people. They still believed that you should be able to stone homosexuals in the street. So you don't you don't these believe, are the people that we're talking that, about. Um, there's like demons in this world. There's there's other 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 things upon us that we we haven't figured out yet. That there's there's no demons. I know there's demons in this world from first experience. I'm I've seen it on films. I've seen it. There's there's on pure films. documentary on these types of things, and that's that's what I'm saying at the end of it. At the end, at the end of the subject, there's still gaps in science, and there's still gaps in 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 religion, and that's and that's and that's why I still believe there's a God because until there's been until science completes its circle, it's not. I, I'm not going to believe it yet. All right. Well. Um... <laughs> It's a fun place to be, I guess. Um, you know, just because, again, the, we don't have all the questions answered, and we don't have all the questions of answered. Of course not. Either. And that's why, science, but, and that's why there's faith in religion. That's why there's faith in religion. That's why there's faith. There's there's a different diff, different type of faith because our assumptions are based off of things we know now. It's ever-evolving, uh, you know, to, to use a word. You, you are saying that, oh, well, we've already got all the answers. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm we not already, saying we yes, have all yes, the you are. Religion no. already has all the answers. It's a universal solution. That's what religion is. That's <laughs> the definition. But there, but you don't have all the answer answers because that's where faith comes in. Is because we don't have all the answers. No, I, faith I don't have in because why, it's not I don't true. have the answer why God has been has has always been and always will be. I don't have that answer. That's why. That's why I have faith. And that's where faith comes along. I don't care. I don't care if, like, like I, I, I don't understand that. You, I don't understand what you're not getting across. How there's how there's gaps in both things. No matter what, there's still going to be gaps in both yeah. things. And that's and to the end of it, whenever that gap is filled, that's what that's what I believe. But right now, you have your faith in science, and I have my faith in religion. Well, okay, let's pretend it was true then. Let's. Say- all this but way. okay, okay. Then let's let's pretend religion. If you think if I I don't let's, I mean there's no, science. No, no. 
let, let me run right, through. Go ahead, go ahead. Let, let me let me run through the saying. scenario that you'd have to believe all of this to take place. Of we know for a fact, we we have facts. Okay, that the human species, Homo sapiens, has been on this earth at least one hundred twenty five thousand years, one hundred fifty thousand years. I'll take one hundred thousand years. Okay. Okay. That means for ninety six thousand years, humans were born, died around, you know, late 20s, early 30s, mostly of their teeth. We're not talking about the wars. Uh, they didn't know what, you know, volcanoes were, earthquakes, um, you know, all of this tribalism, the mass destruction, plagues, the viruses, all of this pain and torture. And then 6,000 years ago, God just goes... He's been watching all of this for that long and just goes, oh, we need to intervene now. And the best way to do that is in, I don't know, illiterate parts of the Middle East um, by human sacrifice. And that should that should set them right. Not in China, where they can read and write already. Well, I mean, if you don't, if you, you know, actually like, read what? in the Bible, if, if I, you probably haven't opened the Bible ever. But I, the Bible- I have, actually. I've okay. read it. All right, so in the Bible and the Quran, God, and Banjwajita. God actually killed off pretty much the whole world in the flood. And I mentioned that earlier with the with the fish skeletons at the top of mountains, everything like that. He killed the whole world in the flood. He's not he's not a nice he's not a nice creator. He's a person who is is in charge and places his dominance. And that's and that's why that he puts the fear into his into his followers' eyes to fear god because god god can kill you god can make you live god can bring you in heaven god can push you to hell but that's but that's something that's afterlife and that's a whole nother a whole nother subject Mm -hmm. but i mean it's it's just it's just the fact that it's all faith in science it's faith science yeah you have things you can prove a lot of things okay you can prove shit ton of things of course okay but when there's not gaps, when there's still gaps in science, that's when you have to think, oh, maybe science. What? What? Maybe it can't can prove everything. Prove? That science can't prove everything. That's why there is God, because science literally cannot prove everything. Science. What, what can religion prove? What can religion prove? What can it prove? What are you asking? If it what? Can, what can it prove? Well, that's that's just it. You're saying that science can't prove everything. Okay. Well, what what is one thing that religion will say that is that we know for a fact will happen in the future? The arm like Armageddon. I'm sorry. Say it again. Okay. Um, <laughs> what you you keep saying that science can't prove everything? Yeah. Okay. What can religion prove is going to happen? Like, what what do we know? We can't we prove know? anything. That's why there's faith. That's why right. I'm saying this whole time. Right, but we have facts and evidence and okay, but I mean, there's progression facts and evidence about um, the past and how the Bible and the history correlate with each other. There, there's those facts. You know, there's scrolls that they found in caves mm-hmm. and everything like that. Though they they have facts saying God was on this earth and did these miraculous things and healed people and. And cured leprosy no. and did all. Yes, there are these. No, no. There are scrolls on scrolls. The Book of Mark. Been... The Book of Mark was written seventy years after, or I'm sorry, uh, forty years after um, Jesus of Nazareth was supposed to have uh, walked this earth. Uh, Matthew wasn't done until fifty years after, and I, I think it's sequential by ten years. They they weren't in in that time frame at all um you know so <laughs> no we we know how the bible was put together it was put together in the council the, the one we know now. um so i mean again we we have all the history on this um, yeah we have the history on both sides but, but you're you're saying but that both sides but both sides don't um have full circles and that's where faith comes in and i've been saying that the entire time right is that you, you, is that you, that i know i know i know that religion isn't isn't 
anything that our that this generation that people even dabble around anymore because of the fact that you have to have so much faith that's that's what makes religion is having faith and science science there's there's so so many people have gone to science because you can start proving things you can start naming facts facts that's facts that's facts that's what science for is to figure out things and 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 have data and figure out this world how this world's um been creating and everything like that but there's still gaps that's what you're not understanding there's still gaps right i'm saying at the basis of your your belief is the thought that a virgin birth and a resurrection happened and somehow that fills in all the gaps left by science gaps i mean oh. again <laughs> We know a ton more now than we did when these religions were started. Okay, yeah, of course we do. I'm not saying that, but mm-hmm. what I'm saying is that science still hasn't proven 100% about everything until it reaches 100% that you can prove that this and that, that is that, this and that. Now, don't get me wrong. There's probably been nine, 98, 95, above 90% in this world that's been explained. No, not even close. Uh, okay, not even close. Exactly. There's faith in both things. That, that's no. what it's coming. No. How? how? See, to say that I don't know exactly how uh, dark matter, uh, you know, interacts mm-hmm. with this world and, um, you know, does its thing, how, you know, how we all came mm-hmm. about. I, no, we don't have like all the facts on it. I'm not saying we do, but I'm saying that. To say, uh, you know, Occam's razor, if do do away with unnecessary assumptions. We we don't need that assumption to start out with. We have enough information now to say, okay, where is the evidence pointing us? And that's not to anything that's been revealed truth. Okay, so you're saying that. Um, I mean, I, it's it's it's. This is a conversation that you could literally butt heads and get research on on both sides and keep going at it. But at the end of the day, it comes to faith and science or religion. And that's why there's such controversy or there's such there's so many arguments and there's so many things on each side that there's 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 there it once science proves that god is not real then there's going to be no more religion but that that day hasn't come yet and i still have my faith just like you have my faith and that's why that's why this the subject there is no god is is such a great subject because faith is so great that faith can't usually won't change someone's mind and that i I don't know what else to say. It, it, it comes down to faith. It comes down to faith in, in, in this type of subject, whether because gaps can't, I, if, I'm going to say it again, gaps have, have not been completely filled in science. And I definitely, I know gaps haven't been filled in religion. <laughs> definitely. Again, that's where faith comes on. You don't, that's, I don't, I don't understand why, you're not understanding that because well, science science isn't faith based. Okay, but if science isn't faith based, then why are there's why are there still things that scientists haven't proven and don't don't understand. Okay, we say we haven't figured that out yet, but we will because we're working on that question now. It's we're we're figuring it out as we go oh. along. And until there's any evidence that proves that there's some omniscient person that answers your prayers and tells you what to eat on what days and all, all of this nonsense, I mean, yeah, you'll, you'll have to excuse, you know? Okay. I mean, how it's just, I mean, I, I don't understand how you can, how you can think that there's, there's such just I don't even know how to explain the Big Bang Theory. How can you explain the Big how, There's How did this little thing create hun- infinity? How, did, how, does that, how does that happen? Mm-hmm. 
I have no idea. Great question. Exactly. It's faith. No, that's saying that Why? I don't know. Why? That is saying that, you know what? I don't have enough evidence to make a judgment on that yet. There could be thousands of universes. Thousands so how are you going to say, how are you going to say, who, know, my, who knows? My, but to say, say what I believe, but you, you say you already you know. Don't know. Yeah. You say, you know, I say, I don't know. I say, I don't know. I don't know. No, you, that's why you I have do faith. know. There's that's a God. You believe that there's a God. Yes. But I simply that's say, why I, I have faith. Know. Okay. Well, that's, that's the, that's, I guess, the difference there. Um, I, it's not faith, though. Science, it is faith, science, though. science is supported by evidence. But if but there is something that we don't know, how do you, how do you, how do you believe the, how do you believe the world is there? How, is how do you, how do you believe, currently? how do you believe this whole world is created? How do you believe the universe is created? Yes. Well, um, about 12 billion years ago, there's going to be, or there was a, uh, a uh, very large explosion from the size of about a suitcase. And yes, all matter bursts into existence. Um, now, can you prove we that? This, we know this because we discovered the red light shift and we so, we've through measuring, we, we've seen that the universe is expanding further away from each other, uh, from, from itself than it was um, before at a faster rate. Um, so this, this universe is ever expanding, which is really cool to think about. And actually, no, and I know that, and that's, that's, but I'm coming to the point mm -hmm. where you said you can't, you don't know, you don't know how the world was created. You just said you don't, but that, in the that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean you automatically go, Oh, I don't know. Must be God. Okay. But where, where that's, does that but come that's in? again, where does but, that come in? but you, you just, all right. Let me talk. You just told me sure. that the world, that this universe is created from a suitcase. But you also just told me that you didn't know. That's where faith comes in. Mm. And that's what I've been saying this whole time. That's well, where faith comes in. We don't know if God's real. I don't know if God's real. You, no one knows if God's real. But that's where faith comes in. That's, that's where faith, like, you, you're not understanding because, because you, literally, you literally just said... You you just said that you didn't know if the bank if you believed the Big Bang was real, and that's what you believe. No, no, I do, I do know that it happened. We know that it happened. No, we but don't. Again, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. All right, hundred percent, hundred percent proof that the Big Bang was real. Go go watch. Um, trust me, I, trust me. I have watched a lot. Of this oh, okay. shit. Trust me. Have you, have you I, seen I, Lawrence Krauss, I, uh, Universe from Nothing? I'm sorry? Have you seen a lecture by Lawrence Krauss? It's called The Universe from Nothing. He's a astrophysicist. Probably, probably somebody, probably somebody now. I've done my research on this too, dude. No, yeah, and of course. I mean, we both have, but there's also... But you you just told me, you just stated that you didn't know if the Big Bang was real or not. I said it did happen. Okay, I don't know what happened before it, and I'll and I'll go ahead and say that again. But so it, say, all right, so all right, so let's but say that. to say again, but to say that because I say I don't know something means that the jump is God did it. That that's a non sequitur. It doesn't make sense. Okay, all right. So where where did the matter come? Where did the matter come from if there was nothing? Well, it, it came from inside this suitcase. We know. That makes sense. So nothing made out of nothing. No, something Why? was definitely in there. How, how, it's, how, all right, it was definitely nothing, matter. All right, on. There's nothing in this world. Nothing. No matters. Nothing. Then something just appears. How does that happen? Well, again, don't know. Exactly. All right. I, I you think you've got me on something, and um, 
to, to say that I don't know something again, doesn't make an argument for faith. That just, well, I mean, if you don't know something, I mean, we need to figure it out. You, you say, Oh, well, this book, I've got a book and it tells me all the answers. I mean, I've definitely done my research. There's definitely, Mm. it is, it, this is a, this is debating. This is a debate. That's going to go back and forth, back and forth. Why don't you believe in Muhammad and, like, Islam? Um, because I believe Islam was actually – there was um, – I don't know what it was, who it was, but it's more of a uh, – someone uh, – I don't know who is it. Who is it? Um, they have one person that, that wrote different parts of the book that made it more a lot more radical, and it kept it radical. And there's, there's a lot – there's actually a lot of different things that um, – are different in right. the Islamic religion. Okay. So why aren't you a Jew? Um, I mean, it's how I was raised. I mean, I, there's Jew, it's, it's Christianity. Christianity, mm-hmm. there's different branches because there's different branches how people interpret the book. Mm, that's, that's a good, uh, interesting point. So are you, what, uh, what denomination are you? Uh, Baptist. Baptist. All right. You're my, one of my favorites. Um, okay. So say when the Catholic church, uh, says there is no, uh, no other church outside the, the Catholic church can find salvation. How does that make you feel? Um, there's definitely, I believe that they, uh, in the past they use, they use, um, the book of the, the Bible and all of this stuff to, for, um, power. They used it more. They used mm. it for more for their power. So, um, and it's true. And into that way, and instead of using it as more God, uh, I mean, of course, God. God puts everything on the earth for a reason, and mm. those. That's how. I, exactly. I don't know how to explain this, but I know there's a. I, if mm. two years ago, three years ago, when I was back in school, when I actually took Bible class, whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, I could explain this a lot better, but they oh, yeah. use they use it more for to, to their advantage for power. But I mean that's 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 what God put people, and that's why God has cre- created Satan and all those things is for their people to have those temptations and to those struggles, and that's 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 what made their faith stronger. Yeah, I mean and. No. What what he said is you're you're born into a losing struggle, you're born into original sin. I mean, everyone's a loser until they win. Wow, that's, I mean that that tells me where you are. Let's, I mean, not uh, really. I mean, because due to the fact that you're born into the world, and even though you're born a child of God, he still see we're all sinners. We're all sinners, and that's that's mm-hmm. why I meant as losers. This is how we're all sinners. Well, especially the Jews and gays and witches. Well, I mean, there's there's definitely been things um, that God probably got wrong. Maybe God got it wrong. Did God get it wrong? Not really. It's he. There's not really. Of course, that when as people as as people evolve as the world gets older and older, there's going to be things that are going to stray away from god and that's what god put in this earth for is to have those distractions but keep your faith strong into him and that's what god put those for is for those temptations temptations so why did he- I, I don't even know the bible verse i can get my temptations will some something something summon and, and bring the path to god i don't know i could bring personal verses and they actually relate to these the today and I mean, honestly, like this discussion is going to go back and forth, back and forth, because I'm going to come back onto it. It's all faith. You believe that the Big Bang is real, and but you still have questions about it. So there's no way to to prove it if you still have questions on the Big Bang. And that's still not an argument for faith. How? We've we've gone over this. We've gone we've like, gone over everything. I, I I there's 
it comes down to it, it's all faith. That I don't know what else to say, and that right. it's all faith. And once, and once either God comes back to this earth, or once you die, that's that's when someone's actually gonna know. But right now, we don't know. You don't know. Well, I don't know. You're you're absolutely right. You know, at the end of the day, um, you know, I wouldn't hold my breath for God coming back. I'll just go ahead and state that that's probably a, a waste of time. But I feel you. Good luck with that. I'm going to mm-hmm. knock it out. All right. You take it. You have a good one. Yes, I am.